Hi everybody! This is our last video in our Learning and Working with Crystal series because we are starting our journaling series come January, so like in a week. <laughs> and I'm super excited about it. There's also going to be a Crystal of the Month that goes with each um, each subject that we're going to be journaling about every month. So crystals aren't disappearing for good. They're still going to be involved because I, I, I work with them all the time. Crystals are my allies they're my buddies. I love them. And I know a lot of you are here because you love them too. So they're not going anywhere. It's just that this series is coming to a close to bring in something new. So <laughs> that is really all that is about. And I also wanted to say, hi, art guy, you are asking about more masculine type crystals. And I feel the best way to describe this to you guys would be to do comparisons. I want to preface this as this is my experience and how I work with crystals. I hope it makes sense for you. Your experiences are unique to you and you are not wrong for that. So if this does not resonate with you, that's totally fine. I just definitely like sharing what I experience and hoping that it helps you learn and grow and work with your crystal allies. So masculine versus feminine crystals. The first thing I want to share is clear quartz. And I feel like quartz clear quartz is a excellent way to kind of dive into this, if this makes sense. So there's, you know, we have clear quartz. You have a very clear quartz, right? And then you also have another, you know, clear quartz, but it's cloudy, right? So they're both from the same family. They're both almost the exact same crystal in some ways. But in my experience, the clear ones are far more projective in their energy. And I experience them in, as more of a masculine type of energy. They're very intense and I feel like they push out, they push out so much energy versus the um, more cloudy ones. I feel like they're a little more soft. They come across as more absorbative, like they take things from you versus sending things to you. So it's almost like they kind of create a circuit of one sends in a charge, one pulls out a charge, if that makes sense. So when I work with quartz, if I want to help do some healing where I'm removing things, I'll work with the more softer, cloudier quartz because I feel like they draw out from me and it's a little more feminine and softer energy versus the very clear, which I feel like is very projective, sends in a lot of energy. And the coolest thing with quartz, you guys, is that it creates a prism. A lot of times you'll see different rainbows within the inclusions of a quartz. And that's, you know, no joke. <laughs> the prism of the colors that you see is very, very powerful for all, of, for all of our chakras. And so when you work with a clear quartz, you are going to work with all of your chakras. You are going to be bringing in or helping clear a lot of energy in all of your auric field as well. The To me, a clear quartz is a very intense healer. It's a very profound healer and it's excuse me, a very universal healer. It works with all of our chakras, all of our auric field. It's just a very super, super helpful. And honestly, like one of the greatest crystals you can have in your collection and work with as an ally. Um, I also found out they're piezoelectric. So they kind of expand and contract when there's sound and vibration and electricity. And it's just, it's really, um, it's really cool. Look up, look up piezoelectric and look up clear quartz and piezoelectric. It's really neat. Another example I want to give you would be the, like I'm wearing a rainbow moonstone. I feel like this is a more feminine crystal in comparison to our labradorite. They're both a feldspar, I believe. And the labradorite to me feels more masculine. I said in my labradorite video that I feel a strong connection to, um, oh my God, I just totally dropped it. I just totally <laughs> dropped it. Merlin, I'm so sorry. I just, I was like, my brain just literally did a brain fart. So I feel a strong connection to Merlin when I work with Labradorite. And then I feel like when I work with Rainbow Moonstone, it's much softer. It's much um, more melodic, I guess. And it Rainbow Moonstone's actually brilliant for working with the goddess energy and the feminine side of yourself. And I feel like working with the Labradorite is great for working with the masculine side of yourself or working with more masculine energy. They're both a very similar, um, similar crystal, but they're, you know, a feminine and masculine difference. You know, one of them feels 
more soft and it's equally as powerful even though it's soft and versus you know the one that feels a little more intense they're still equally powerful but just different experiences working with them and then my final example would be i want to talk about the black tourmaline this to me if you guys remember i'll leave the link right here is more like a leather armor it's protective it's very um cloaking and it's very very helpful in keeping your energetic field safe but it feels like that leather armor versus a black obsidian you guys which feels to me more like a uh heavier form of protection and a stronger form of protection versus you know so we're comparing the tourmaline to like a leather armor this to me would be like a chain mail or a plate mail it feels a little bit more protective a little bit stronger just a little more um heavy if that makes sense so they're all they're all intense in the way they work they're equally as powerful i should say but the masculine crystals to me feel just a bit more projective a bit more intense versus the feminine crystals that feel a little more receptive a little bit softer but they're both just super super powerful in the way that they work another couple crystals i feel like are more masculine would be like a red jasper or a citrine just crystals that feel um just the intensity and the power behind them and then the way they project the energy is just different in comparison to how i've experienced the more feminine stones so that is the video I wanted to share with you guys. Just a little bit of a difference in um, how I work with my crystals, how I experience working with them, and why I consider it's like some male and some female. So lots of love to you guys. If you want to start working on a masculine or feminine energy balance within yourself, pick up the crystals, get to know them. How do they feel to you? Does one feel like it's infusing you? And how does that inf infusion feel? You know, if, if it feels like it's drawing from you, what is it drawing out? And really just get to know your crystal allies, how they work with you, because, you know, they may have a collective energy that is similar on many levels, but how they work with you can be very unique. And your experiences, like I said before, are not wrong are unique to you and that's perfect so light and love you guys i hope to see you in 2018 as we do our journaling series and i'll talk to you soon